All right. We're going to talk about the F word. So, failure, 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 failure. We all have baggage on failure. Even those of us who say we have healthy compensations for failure, failure is there. And the reason why I know is even people who tell me they have, oh, I, I deal well with failure. When I talk to them about the failure, uh, they go on in this huge litany of I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have. And I'll go, uh, my friend Margaret Gardner taught me this phrase, stop shooting on yourself. And so when you should and you hang on to things and that, it's, I love this quote, it's like letting someone live rent free in your head. Um, but in failure, focusing on what we should have done and feeling bad about what we should have done is negative energy. And so one of the things that we've been taught very well from childhood is that when we make a mistake, usually, unfortunately, we're all good at making mistakes very quickly. We go to phase two, which is feeling really, really bad about it. Some of us are very good at feeling bad. And in fact, some of you I can talk to about something and you may still be feeling bad about something that happened 20 years ago. So the feel bad phase, though, is taught to us at a very young age because it's like you're supposed to be sorry, you're supposed to make amends, da, 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 you know, like all that kind of stuff that we were taught. The problem with staying too long and feel really bad is the longer it takes us to get to learning, so making the mistake here and then learning from the mistake so that it doesn't happen again, we stay too long and feel bad. Sometimes these never meet. And so you can forget to even learn and you just feel bad or you learn the wrong lesson. You get so far away from the incident and our mind naturally over the years, you will remember things differently than they actually happened. It's just how the mind works. So the practice I'd like you to take on is mistake learn. So what I want you to do is eliminate when you make a mistake, the feel bad section. And a lot of people struggle with that. And so I say, set a timer and give yourself five minutes to feel really bad about it. And when the timer goes off, go straight to learning. What did you learn? Because when you're having big ideas come up and big things happen, you are going to have lots of failures. In fact, if you have my book, I mean, Charles Dix, You Ride uh, interview on the chapter on commitment I mean, talk about two guys, he and his brother Robert, had doors slammed in their faces constantly for years trying to get this idea launched. And if they had stayed in the feel bad part of the fact that they were screwing things up and not getting traction, they would never have a successful company now that they're doing that's growing and expanding and people are really excited about. 